was definitely probably was in, in his head. We knew what they were going to do, we just didn't execute. Um, they got a lot of threes on the slips, and we knew they was going to slip. We just we just messed that up. And, um, Definitely on the switches on the ball screens, we were switching off ball screens, messed those up. So I think we kind of gave them some threes and some looks, and that got them going. And um, they just was keep knocking them down the rest of the game. But um, we knew there was a good shooting team, but we definitely didn't play our A game on the defense. Team. How much of this win was a sigh of relief and joy of going to the Elite Eight for a second time in a row? Um, it's always a sigh of relief for me. Game like that, a close one like that, and um, you're not the one trying to shoot the game winner. It's right. definitely tough, but um, we're tough those teams, and um, we've been good on defense this whole year. And um, we were supposed to foul at the end. He didn't foul. Fortunately, it came short, and um, he was happy to move on. You said yesterday deflections and just making passes difficult was important. How do you feel like this? This team did and how I think we did very well on deflections and defense and um, limiting them. I just came down to switching the screens and giving them easy threes off mm -hmm. that miscommunication and um, they slipped a lot and that's how they got a lot of threes. And um, I think it was just more talk. And um, if we talk on defense and we could limit to that, we would mm -hmm. probably had a great defensive game. Mm -hmm. But um, we did get a lot of deflections and we did play good defense. I think besides those things, it's so pretty encouraging knowing that defense travels for you guys you haven't really played offensively well the last two games as yeah, a team you yeah. have personally but yeah defense always travels defense and rebound like coach says it always travels and the last two games that's been it because our offensive flow is kind of off um we got to get back to sharing the ball moving the ball making the right play and um not being so stagnant and um if we do that and um keep locking up on defense um we can we can get to that final four like like we're supposed to what changed for you after i think it was that arizona state game a couple weeks ago since then you i think you've hit 20 at least in every game what, what changed after that? i'm just staying in attack mode and coaches putting the ball in my hand coming off screens more and um just making the right basketball play and, and staying aggressive and my teammates give me that confidence to keep going and um that's always been to it um i've been doing the same routine all year haven't changed and that's about it. Big picture question here, but more sigh of relief or excitement that you guys are going back to the Definitely excitement. Um, uh, it's a sigh of relief he missed that shot, though, definitely. But it's definitely excitement now. We're very excited. But um, we only get a day and then we back at it. So um, we can only enjoy it for a little bit. And uh, really, the experienced guys know we've been here. So um, we're going to be ready for that game and get the get the younger guys get it going and um, get to that final four. It's here now. This is the game. You shot well as a team free from the free throw line. How shocked were you that Dylan not only missed one, but missed two front ends of a one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, um, I missed some. A lot of a lot of us missed free throws, and that could have been the game for us right there. And, um, definitely got to get back in the gym tomorrow and shoot hundreds of free throws of how, how much we need to to knock them down. We got the fill of the rim, the fill of the court now, so we shouldn't be missing free throws. That shouldn't, that shouldn't hurt us like it almost did. You guys have been called underdogs against Rhode Island, against Michigan. How nice is it to come back up on top on those games? Um, it's great. I don't really pay attention to that. They're going to keep saying it. Don't say it the next game. Um, we're just going to keep going out there and compete. Um, we can be the underdog. We're not listening. you got to lace them up and play. It doesn't matter. So um, we just go out there and play as hard as possible. How big was Jordan there down? How big was Jordan for you guys there down the end? Oh, that was the biggest play, I think, for us um, getting that put back. Offensive rebound off the free throw. And um, I'm glad he did it. Um, we, we usually do set up a play if somebody misses and they executed it well and he got it and I, and I was happy and then we got a stop and then I finished it and then Wall missed that game winner and um, just in, and just excitement to uh, look back but if we look back we'd have been pretty mad at ourselves for giving that one away. You don't look at the outside stuff but everyone all week was telling you that you're going against the team of destiny. What, what does it feel like to take down the, the team of destiny? Uh, team of destiny? I don't think nobody's destined to do nothing. You got to go get it. And you gotta win. Um, they, they, I heard about their story. And, um, it's, a, it's a crazy story, and um, they've been playing well. But um, 
I think we've been playing well as a team. Not our best, but we've been playing well. And um, it was a great fought. We, I got much respect for those guys. Um, they're, they're very good, and they gave us a hard fought. It could have went either way. We could have been the one sad right now. So we're just fortunate and happy to be at this position. You said you haven't been playing your best yet. You're in the Elite Eight. Does that excite you, knowing that there's still more there? Yeah, there's definitely still more there. But the more you keep moving on, the better the team is going to get. So um, we definitely got to pick up on um, those little things we've been slacking on these last couple games because it's been coming real close. And um, even though we've been winning, um, it could go 50-50. If you, and we don't like we don't like to gamble 50-50. <laughs> we want to we want to secure the win.